As some of you may be aware, uh, Weha is doing testing equipment and they've been kind enough to send out their clamp meter. Uh, these will be in Australia very soon, so keep an eye out for them. They have also previously sent me out their multimeter, which I have been using quite a fair bit lately. Um, I keep it in my daily kit and I've been using it around at home quite a lot, testing various things, as you may have seen in my videos. Uh, this is a Category 4 tester uh, with working voltages up to 1000 volts, whereas this one also is a Category 4 tester, but its working voltage is up to 600 volts. So no differences when choosing the right multimeter for the work you're doing. Now let's get on to what's inside the box. So with the clamp meter, you will get the user manual, which will give you all your information in German and in English. You get yourself some test leads. So these test leads do have the caps. So when you're working at high voltages, make sure the caps are on, otherwise it won't be rated to category four. So keep that in mind. And you get the clamp meter. So this is a little bit different to the body of the multimeter where this is a rubberized plastic. This is more of a molded rubber around the, um, the body of the multimeter itself. Um, it fits really nicely in the hand and it's got quite a few functions. So let's go through them. So it's a dial, dial selector. So first one is amperage of AC DC. It's all auto select, which is good, apart from when you get to RC DC, but we'll get to that. So you've got your amperage, AC DC, voltage, AC DC, auto select, and then you've got your RC DC function, which is, which will let you scroll through diode testing, capacitance testing, and continuity testing, and that's all selected by this select button right here. And then we've got uh, micro amperage, AC and DC, uh, frequency testing, and then the last one up the top is non-contact voltage testing. So this can be used as a volt stick, but as you all know, volt sticks aren't 100%, so just take caution when using the non-contact voltage. Um, non-contact voltage is measured right along this side here. It's marked on the body, the non-contact voltage. So you just pop it up against your, your cable that you want to check and you will get four bars come up on the screen indicating whether there is or isn't voltage. Another cool function is the torch. So one press turns the torch on, which is up here. So if you're working in a dark cabinet or switchboard or whatever, it illuminates the area which you're working in. Then you've got your minimum, maximum, uh, your hold function, and then as I explained earlier, your select function. So that's that's the, um, the gist of the, the meter. Like I said, it is category four, rated up to 1000 volts working voltage, um, which is good for almost everything. Um, this is the top of the line meter that they have and I think it will do quite well in the Australian market um, against its competitors so keep an eye out for your local tool shops that will be stocking these. Thanks again Weha for sending out your meters. Um, I appreciate your support and thanks for watching.